psychology. Psychology has been defined as the science of the mind, behavior, and emotions in individuals and in groups. We all believe we understand why we think, act, and feel the way we do, and we believe that we know the same about others. But do we really? I'm Dr. Robert Meyer. Together, we'll explore the mysteries and intricacies of the human mind and behavior. And we'll take your questions right here on the Psychological States of America. Welcome to the Psychological States of America. I'm Dr. Robert Myers. At any time, it's easy to spread germs. During this time, we need to be extra careful. One issue that was brought to my attention was eye care, especially for those who wear contact lenses. I recently spoke with Dr. Stephen Levy, an optometrist at Windsor Park Vision Center in Bayside, Queens, who told me a story about a teenager whom he recently treated for an eye injury. Today I saw a 16-year-old boy, young man, who got crazy glue in his, in his eye while he was working on his bike. Um, he was pretty cleared up. He had seen his, he had spoken to his primary care doctor, um, and the doctor had prescribed an antibiotic, which was perfectly uh, the right thing to do. Um, he still has a little bit of corneal abrasion going on in that eye where the crazy glue peeled off, um, but his eye is healing well. He's going to continue using the drops. Um, he's a contact lens wearer, right? Um, typically, we tell patients when they have an eye injury or inflammation or illness not to wear their contacts until it's healed. In this time of corona, um, it's probably a good idea with viruses where we're telling people not to touch their face and eyes and mouth, not to wear contacts at all. I can't imagine it being a good idea to wear contacts and touching your face when it's not really necessary. If you have a really strong prescription, keratoconus, other corneal um, or refractive problems where you can't see with glasses, um, then you kind of have to wear contacts, but you it's probably a good idea to be extra cautious, but for everyone else, I don't see a point in wearing contacts at this point. Doctor, in the event that someone needs to wear their contact lenses, maybe because they don't have a prescription, as you just mentioned, uh, for glasses or some other reason, is there some other precautions that they could take uh, in that event? Well, definitely they should be cleaning the lenses. If, if they're not in a daily disposable, daily disposable is probably the, the safest modality of contact lens wear. We wear the lenses once, you take them out, you throw them away. Um, if you're wearing a two week or monthly lens, you gotta make sure you clean the lenses. You, you, gotta, dis you gotta clean the lenses with solution before you disinfect them in the solution. You should be cleaning the case or, or at least changing the case every three months, um, not topping off the solutions in the case. Um, there's probably a couple of things. Make sure you wash your hands. Always wash your hands before touching your contacts, before touching your face, um, both taking the contacts on and put, putting the contacts on and taking them off. Um, dry your hands well with a paper towel, not something that doesn't give off lint. Um, and, you know, Try to reduce the contact lens wear if you can. Um, because you know what? We're not going to be seeing patients unless it's an emergency and you don't want to be an emergency. Um, so we'll be happy to see you if you have an emergency. But for routine care, we're not going to see patients. You don't want to be an emergency. Thank you, Dr. Levy, for sharing that story and important information with us. Are you washing your hands properly? I tried this little experiment for you to show the best way to wash your hands. I'm using blue paint to demonstrate how to reach every part of your hands. Of 
course, you should use soap and warm water, not paint. Let's wish a happy birthday to Erica in Bayside. Her birthday, she didn't put the birth date, but it's sometime this week because she sent us her birthday. Happy birthday to everyone. Happy birthday. Are you having a birthday soon? Let us know and we'll include you in our birthday wishes for the week. Attitude of Gratitude I am grateful that my family is together during this time. Even with some of the arguments and getting on each other's nerves due to being in close quarters, all in all, I am thankful we have this opportunity to annoy the heck out of each other. May we, and all of us, be able to do so for many, many years to come. Janet Nestoria also says she's grateful for being with her family during this time. Alicia in Bayside said that she's home alone, but is grateful for the friends she's communicating with over the phone and internet. What are you grateful for? Send us an email or short video and let us know. Don't forget to send in your emails or videos responding to one of our following questions. What are you grateful for today? What are you experiencing during this time? And your funniest creative video. No violence or vulgar language, please. We'll present some of them right here on PSA. Well, that just about wraps up today's edition of the Psychological States of America. Check back regularly for future episodes. Be well, be safe, and we'll see you real soon.